Hello, John Patton here. Now, with this uh, being the 50th anniversary of the moon landing coming up this weekend, I thought this would be a good time to show you how I uh, make pictures of the moon. Now, many of you have probably tried this. Uh, you try using your phone. I have to admit, I'm not great at taking pictures of my phone because I hardly ever do this. Okay. And you try pointing it up at the sky, take a picture, and you, know, you end up with something like this. I don't know if you can see it, but if you ever tried it, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Now you could try zooming in on it a little bit more. But really, uh, not any better. Because what's happening there is basically your phone uh, camera is shooting on a full auto mode. And so it's reading from all over the sky. And so it's trying to compensate. And so it makes the one bright spot really bright to try to lighten up the rest of it. Now even with a uh, DSLR camera here, uh, if you're shooting on full auto, let me switch to that real quick, the little green square, uh, you'll probably get pretty much the same thing. And so um, I'm just using uh, my old Canon Rebel here with the kit lens, uh, zoom lens that came with it. And so I can zoom in a little bit more. But being on full auto, and see a look at that, the Flash popped up, didn't really do anything. Turn the back down. And it's a little bit better, but still not much. It's still just a bright spot in the middle of my screen. So what I'm gonna to need to do is switch this to manual mode. And I don't know really of any other way to do this than to put it in full manual. That way I have complete control over it. Okay, so I'm going to put my uh, aperture as open as I can get. Looks like f5.6 uh, with this lens. And I'm going to try to take a shot here, see what I get. And the meter inside the camera is telling me I'm shooting way too slow. I'm at 1 60th of a second. But if I slow it down all the way to what it's supposed to, what it tells, this is telling me is one second. Or about half a second, I guess. But there's no way you can hold it uh, perfectly still for that long. But really, your meter uh, in your camera is fairly pointless with this. Because if it's still trying to compensate by lighting up the rest of the sky. And that's not going to work here. And so at f5.6, I'm going to bring it to, say, 1, 1 25th of a second just to uh, try and see how it looks. And fortunately, tonight we have a nice, bright uh, full moon. And take my picture here. It's a little bit better, but really not much. It's still too bright, even at 1 1 25th of the second. Okay, now one of the things you can do to uh, help you, if you have this available on your camera, uh, you can switch your... I'm going to pull it up here. Your metering mode to spot metering. Now, not all cameras have this, but if yours does, that will actually help you out somewhat. But evaluating metering uh, should work just fine. Uh, partial metering probably won't work as well, and center weighted average uh, would be even worse. So I'm going to put it, leave it back on evaluative, just in case, you know, for those of you that don't have the spot metering. But again, really your metering is uh, fairly pointless, because it's going to tell you to shoot way slower than you probably should. Like I said, that was at 1 one twenty fifth of a second at f5.6, and it didn't look bad, but I'm going to speed up to one two hundredth of a second and see what I get. Now it's looking better. 
it's not as bright I'm getting more detail of the moon I'm gonna go ahead and bump it up to 1 250th of a second see what I have here And that's looking even better. And I'm going to go even more here. I'm going to go up to one five hundredth of a second. That might be too fast, but again, we'll just see. I can always bump it back down, but as bright as it still is getting, I think that might work. Yeah, there I'm getting a lot of good detail in the moon. Now it really is, it's that easy. Now a lot of the time I say that, you know, your gear doesn't matter that much, and really it doesn't. But in this case, uh, it kind of does. You can't, like I say, you can't do this with your phone. Uh, you can't do this with a point and shoot camera. Uh, you will need a DSLR where you can adjust your settings and a nice long zoom lens. Now even with the zoom lens, I'm gonna have to crop in a little bit more to cut out some of the dead space. Okay, now, uh, another thing you can do, uh, just to have fun with it. You can adjust your white balance. I'm going to set it to, let's see what happens when I set it to shade. Because right now the, the mood is just coming in, you know, bright white and gray. But, this, take the shot. Yeah, see, that gave me a nice kind of a yellow look to it. So it kind of has a harvest moon look. But really, um, that's it. That's as, it's not that hard. I think a lot of people think because you're shooting at night, you have to shoot slower shutter speed. But remember, the moon is reflecting a lot of sunlight uh, off of it. And so especially on a full moon like we have tonight, I'm getting a lot of light going into my uh, lens here. And so you can actually shoot really fast. So a tripod, totally unnecessary. You can just uh, do this handheld. So I'm going to experiment a little bit more, but that's pretty much it. So until next time, have a good one.